for anyone at any stage of business, I hear so often people talk about how they can't afford to hire help or they can't afford to do this or I have to do everything myself because I don't trust anyone. And that is the biggest mistake anyone makes in any business because like you said, I am not I am not good at everything. I don't want to do everything. I cannot do everything. Yeah. So what are the things the most I'm always talking about outsourcing? Because, you know, there's always someone who actually likes doing the things that you don't. <laughs> so find that person and they'll be happy and you'll be happy and things will get done um, very efficiently when everyone's working in their own zone of genius and can say, okay, this is this person's goal. You know, my sister is very opposite of me. She's a very numbers based, very uh, left brain, logical, likes to work with tons of numbers and logic and all that stuff. And I'm very much a creative and over on the side. And so there's always the, the balance to uh, someone different than you that actually really enjoys the tasks that you don't. So that can also free up that space and get you more things done when um, people are Absolutely. doing things that are and, and I love how you mentioned your sister like because your sister is there like look around you for resources before you have money to hire people you have resources that you're not even realizing you have so mm -hmm. delegate means let go of control not everything has to be perfect mm -hmm. and as a recovering perfectionist I can tell you that the less I care about perfection, the better things are. Mm. Because perfect is an illusion. It never gets there, ever. That's very true. It, it, it's impossible and useless to waste your time trying to make things perfect. Make them good enough and trust that it's okay. It's okay. It's good enough for now, for today, and tomorrow. You're going to make it better. Because some things, you can only see the path once you've traveled a little bit. So maybe if you're here, you, you can't see what's behind the mountain. So first you go up the mountain and then you're like, oh, that's the valley that I'm going to. So then you can choose. But first, get there. So don't, don't, don't try to say, well, I'm not sure what my full decision is and where I'm going to go in the future until you've crossed the mountain. First say, okay, I'm going to first climb that mountain. All right, now I'm at the top. Let me decide what to do next. Hmm. Because it's always a question. If you try to do everything at the same time, it's impossible. And also you're going to fail. Mm. 